What is going on guys, it is ZigZag here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm giving you 50 quick tips for GeoGuessr, uh, and I hope that some of these will be useful to you. Some of them will be more niche, some of them will be more well-known, uh, but I have no doubt that uh, you'll learn something at least from this video. All right, so first off, we are here on the Åland Islands, a territory of Finland, um, between Finland and Sweden. And uh, in, on these islands, they often use a red-tinged road, and uh, that can be a really good way to differenti differentiate them from um, the mainlands of either country. Now, Sweden also sometimes uses red roads, so you've got to be careful of that, but I'll show you where this is right now. This is the Åland Islands right here, and they are between uh, southern um, Finland and Stockholm there. It's also worth mentioning that on the Åland Islands and all throughout Sweden, it's common to have these short dashes on the outside of the road. And that brings me to tip number two, which is that in Norway, you often have these long dashes on the side of the road. And it takes a little bit of time to get used to these, um, but yeah, the dashes are definitely about double the length in Norway as they are in Sweden. And uh, so that's fairly well known, uh, but very useful if you didn't know it, I should say. All right, next up, we have a bit of more of a niche clue, and here we are in Puerto Williams, and uh, Puerto Williams is um, right down the south of Chile, and we have this really interesting Google car. It's a uh, pickup truck of some kind. It's white, and it's fairly thick, the kind of thing you might see in some of the Pacific Islands, but yeah, it's right down south in Chile, so I'll show you where that is right now. This is Puerto Williams. Now, Puerto Williams also has a bit of trekker, like a lot of other, uh, like a lot of other Chilean um, towns. So all through Chile, you get a lot of trekker, and you definitely get that white car in Puerto Williams. All right, moving on to number four, and this is a general clue that you probably already know, but if you didn't, it's really important that uh, in Southern Africa, you have these yellow outside lines. That is in Lesotho, South Africa, Eswatini, and Botswana. They all have yellow outside lines. It's the best way to tell them apart from somewhere like Australia, and basically from most other places in the world, it's kind of rare that a country uses yellow outside lines like they do. All right, number five, we're back to a niche one. We are right down in, in a very specific uh, bit of coverage in the bottom of Colombia, and we have this kind of weird looking buggy car, and uh, yeah, what more is there to say? It's just this weird buggy car, and you can remember of that um, by it being on the border here. Um, between uh, Colombia and Brazil. And so if I drag out the man, you can see that there's, there's about one road of coverage in Leticia here um, that has the buggy. So worth keeping in mind. All right, next up we have these Sri Lankan A-frame poles. And uh, these ones are fairly common. They kind of look like the Thai poles, they're concrete. And uh, Sri Lanka just seems to be a nation in Asia that uses the most A-frame poles and uh, they're, they're very rectangular. They're very hard-edged rectangular, and it's a great way to tell Sri Lanka apart, especially in rural rounds, so worth keeping that in mind. All right, next up we have one in um, Puerto Rico, and in Puerto Rico you always have this antenna on the coverage, and uh, yeah, it's a, it, for country streaks, it's actually part of the United States. It's a territory of the United States, so you can keep that in mind. And also, they don't, ha they don't have front plates. So that's the two things you need to keep in mind uh, for, getting, for getting Puerto Rico. And uh, most of the coverage is in San Juan, or they can get all over, the, uh, all over the territory. But yeah, there's Puerto Rico for you. All right, next up, we are over here in um, Indonesia. And in Indonesia, you often have a blurred front license plate on motorbikes. That's not all the time, uh, but it's basically the only country in Asia that legally you're meant to have a number plate on the front of a motorbike. So maybe sometimes you get it unblurred, um, and maybe sometimes in other countries you'll get a false blur, but um, it's worth keeping in mind that you can uh, see a front license plate a lot of the time in Indonesia. All right, next up, we are in um, the Philippines. And in the Philippines, um, not only do they use a yellow line sometimes with a white stripe next to it, so that would be similar to what they do in Argentina and in Uruguay, um, so that sets it apart, but also they have a red on white chevron, and they are the only country in Asia apart from Sri Lanka to use this. But I'm bringing it up in, Phil in the Philippines because um, they seem to use these a lot compared to other Asian nations particularly, so it's a great way to tell it apart from other countries. Alright, here we are in Dakar in Senegal, and if you have played any GeoGuessr competitively, you probably know that uh, Senegal normally has sky rifts. 
Um, but it actually happens that in some of the coverage in Dakar, there is no Skyrift at all. So who knows why it really improved, but you still got the same old Google car um, with the bars. But yes, no Skyrifts here. And likewise, we are over here in Albania now. And in Albania, and also Montenegro, which is the uh, next thing I'm showing you, in this region of Albania and this region of Montenegro, there are also no sky rifts. So I'll come here and show you on the map what I mean. So basically, the majority of Montenegro here and the majority of Albania here, um, do uh, they do have the two sky rifts um, in basically all the coverage. However, in this region here and this region here, so on the border, you can often get um, coverage that has no rifts, and that could be really useful uh, because you can get high points if you realize that it is going to be Montenegro or um, Albania, but there are no rifts. You just get in this region here and uh, pick up some easy points. All right, next up, we're in the Faroe Islands, and of course, the Faroe Islands have this uh, black car with the bars. Uh, but here we go, we have this tiny little bollard, and it's uh, red topped with a yellow stalk and a white reflector, and it's very short, and you can find it all over the Faroe Islands, a very good way to tell it apart. Obviously, quite a distinctive landscape here, but um, yeah, they use this little bollard, and uh, it's cute, and um, it's only in the Faroe Islands, so keep that in mind. All right, next up, we're gonna look at some license plates. So in the United States and in Canada, they tend to use very short license plates. Pretty much every state will use a license plate that is not particularly wide. They're kind of, uh, they're kind of tall, uh, but they're not wide. Um, so you can see that on all the cars in this uh, parking spot in Indiana here. Um, whereas, if you go to most South American nations, and here I am in Brazil, uh, you can see that these number plates are decidedly longer. They're probably about like a third longer than United States equivalents, and you can see on all these cars, fairly long license plates in Brazil. Alright, so here we are in Mexico, and Mexico tends to share the United States model with the shorter license plates, and you can see that on pretty much all the cars here, we're in Mexico City. And uh, I just wanted to bring up um, Ecuador because Ecuador, you can see, here's a shorter number plate and uh, here's a longer and here's a longer. So you can definitely get a mix in Ecuador, but most of the South American nations tend to use longer ones. And so if you're in a pinch and you have to guess between um, Mexico and South Amer somewhere in South America, then uh, use the length of the license plates to determine that. All right, next up, we are in Indonesia. And in Indonesia, you can actually have a black Generation 4 car. Now, pretty much in every other country that I know of, the Generation 4 car is blue. Um, but in Indonesia, you can get it either gray or black. And normally, it's not this black. This is the best example I could find. Normally, uh, if I just move over here, it, no, it will look a little bit like this. It'll just be like a, a faint bit of black slash gray. But uh, yeah, if you see it's black, then you know you're in Indonesia. Uh, as far as I know, so that can be very useful for determining where you are. Okay, here we are in Macau, and Macau is a former Portuguese territory just off of mainland China, and uh, you can see that they use black number plates, and that it's always Generation 2, um, this old coverage from 2008, but what's most important is that they drive left-hand side of the road, um, and that is kind of odd because, um, you know, they're Portuguese, and um, they... Uh, off the coast of China, which drives right-hand side of the road, but for whatever reason, just like Hong Kong, they drive left, um, so I'm sure there's some interesting history behind that, but it's worth keeping in mind, and of course you'll see Portuguese signs and everything, so Macau ends up not being too difficult to spot out, as long as you can make sure you um, realise the difference between it and Hong Kong. All right, here we are in Costa Rica, and Costa Rica is a city, uh, San Jose is a city, the capital city of Costa Rica, and it has a lot of Trekker footage. And uh, you can see that Trekker uh, has, I don't really know if you can make it out that well in the video, but Trekker has uh, this very distinctive blur pattern that kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a crocodile or something like that, like an alligator's shape. It's got, it's got like uh, four legs to cover up where the wheels or whatever it might have been, and so it has this certain kind of way of blurring. But yeah, in Costa Rica, the only coverage at the moment is with Trekker. Right, next up, we are in the Isle of Man, and the Isle of Man only has Generation 2 once again, uh, but it differs from the rest of the UK in the fact that um, the plates, instead of having a blue strip, have a red strip. 
um, and that kind of fits the flag, I guess. But you can see red strip, red strip, red strip, they all have red strips, and actually the back plates are also yellow, but do have the red strip as well. So that is good to keep in mind for Isle of Man, which is, if, in case you didn't know, Isle of Man lies between uh, Scotland, or well, England, and Ireland there, so, and Northern Ireland. All right, next up, we are in Monaco. Monaco uh, is a micronation just south of France, and uh, it has um, a whole mix of license plates because obviously there's a lot of French people and people from Europe coming there because it's quite a destination. However, their own license plates are very small compared to normal EU license plates. They are maybe half the size and very thin. And um, yes, yeah, so you can you can perhaps tell that you're in Monaco. Once again, it's a generation two only country and yeah, tiny, tiny plates. So good to keep in mind and uh, also it has a very distinctive look, so you probably uh, probably didn't need that clue, but um, you know, if you're on a road like this, playing NMPZ could help you out to know that the license plates are rather tiny. All right, next up, we are in um, Sumatra here, and uh, we have an interesting Google car that is, I'm pretty sure this is only in um, Indonesia, but uh, yeah, we have this really interesting black um, little detail on this Google car, and I'll show you where we are right now in Northern Sumatra. Uh, but yeah, weird little uh, Google car that you can definitely see around here, and I think elsewhere as well. Alright, uh, coming near the end of the video now, we are in Kangaroo Island, and on Kangaroo Island, which is a uh, island in South Australia, there's only Generation 1 and 2 footage. Uh, you know you can't be on Kangaroo Island if it's Generation 3 or 4. And uh, Kangaroo Island, I would say, it's set apart from the rest of South Australia. Uh, the rest of South Australia tends to have quite a white dirt. Uh, whereas Western Australia, as you saw, has a bit more of a brown dirt, more reminiscent of near the Perth area, I would say. So uh, definitely worth keeping in mind. It definitely has significant coverage, uh, but it's all just Generation 1 and 2. So good to know. And uh, here we are in Southern Philippines. And Southern Philippines, well, Philippines has a whole bunch of cars, but the only car with roof racks is this black one, which is in Southern Philippines. And I'll show you exactly where that is. Right around here, it tends to go around the General Santos City and this area here, so you can find the black car with the bars there. And our final tip for the, today, we're here in Magadan Oblast in, um, in Russia, and this is a very secluded bit of coverage, um, but I thought I'd show you it because it is very um, distinctive. It has this massive bay, the, uh, the whole city uh, lies on this bay, and um, you can just see all the water pretty much anywhere you go in the town. So I'll show you where this is, and I'll show you why I wanted to include this, because you see, okay, it looks like a normal-ish city, but uh, yeah, it's way away from anything else. And you can see that uh, the normal Russian coverage pretty much goes out to Vladivostok here, but it, it doesn't really venture too far north, except for out here. Um, but yeah, you do have, you have your Sakhalin co coverage, and you have your... Um, What's the name of this place? Petropavlovsk um, Peninsula coverage. And then um, you have your Maganon coverage. And you can see it's actually, actually the whole city is covered, but uh, nothing on the way to the city. So I wonder how they got the Google car there. Uh, I guess it's a mystery. That is going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for part two, which is going to have the next 25 tips in it. I'm very much looking forward that, to bringing that to you. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, peace.